Lane Norton. Some people love him and others love to hate him. Chances are, if you're into powerlifting or bodybuilding, you've heard his name at least once. If you by chance don't know who he is, here's a quick biography. He has his PhD in nutritional sciences, he's an IFPA and NGA natural pro bodybuilder, and also lists himself as a professional powerlifter. Lane is most notably known for being a bodybuilding and physique coach. He boasts that he's coached over a thousand people in the last 13 years. That being said, that's kind of what we're here to talk about. As many of you know, I have been contemplating competing in classic physique in the near future, and as my degree has taught me many things about exercise in relation to health, weight loss, and strength and conditioning, it failed to teach me more than just the basics of bodybuilding because bodybuilding is still taboo in the education world. So when Lane posted his contest prep book up for pre-sale, I immediately bought it. I just finished the book cover to cover and I have to say I was impressed with the detail he was able to pack into it. It has 264 total pages and covers everything you need to know about dieting for a competition. Lane is very thorough not only in his recommendations but also citing research articles validating his recommendations. The only place I feel like it's lacking is in the chapter about training and when it discusses post-competition or the off-season. Now that's not to say that he doesn't give you some basics, but if you're not a seasoned lifter or don't know a lot about programming workouts, then you might feel like you're missing out a little bit. But in Lane's own words and defense, those two subjects alone could very well be books on their own. Overall, it is a bit of an expensive book to only be 264 pages, but if you're wanting to learn more about competition prep or if you're a veteran lifter, then this is a great place to start or in addition to your current knowledge. I do want to iterate though, if you are a beginner or have been lifting less than one to two years, or even if you're just a casual gym goer that doesn't want to compete, then I wouldn't worry about buying the book. It won't benefit you any more than any other book out on the market. Alright guys, I hope this helps some of you that have looked into the book, and for those of you that are interested in other fitness books, click this video for my top 5 recommended books. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Pain.